Hi, and welcome to Senior Shape. This is a great stability ball video for you guys. Great for beginners and seniors. Three things that you're gonna need. One is your stability ball. They come in different sizes. Make sure that you have the correct size. When you sit down on your ball, your knees should be able to be bent straight up from your hips at a 90 degree angle. I have a new Amazon shop. You can find some recommendations for stability balls there. I even let a little bit of air out of mine because we're gonna be gripping it with our legs and that makes it much easier. It'll also make it easier if you wear shoes. So please wear shoes for today's workout. Again, really gonna help you assist grip the ball rather than just bare feet or socks. And then finally, you need a little bit of a cushion on your floor. So whether that's carpeting, a rug, a yoga mat, uh, a couple positions we're gonna be on our hands and knees and I want to make sure that it is nice and cushioned for you. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our backs. So coming down to the floor, we're gonna put our feet right on top of that ball. So however is comfortable for you to get in this position, let's relax our head, neck, and shoulders. Arms are down at our sides, palms are facing the floor. Pull that belly button into your spine, activating the core. We've got a lot of core here, guys. A lot of Pilates inspired moves as well. Pushing your feet into the ball, I want you to bend your knees, heels stay on the ball, and draw that ball towards your bum, and then push it straight back out. Again, a little bit of pressure on the ball. We're activating our hamstrings here. So that's where you wanna be feeling this, right in back of the legs. And push. We're gonna do around eight reps of each exercise. We'll do two exercises. And if you've worked out with me in the past, you know that I love my combinations. So then we'll put those two exercises together. Give me three more here, pull it in and push it out. Core is engaged, tummy in. Last one, pull it in, push it out. Let's leave our legs extended. We're gonna balance here on the ball. Again, heels on the ball. Let's lift our hips. We can use our hands here to help balance and then lower down. Weight into the ball, push, lifting the hips, squeeze those glutes lower down. Adjust if you need to. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. A few more here for three. Two. Last one. Let's keep the hips lifted. Here comes our combination. Roll that ball in. Extend it back out and then drop the hips. Excellent. Again, lift Draw it in, extend, and lower. It's challenging, but so good, guys. If it's too challenging, then just pick one. Pick those roll in the routes or the hip bridges here. And relax, a few more here. We left, curl it in, extend, and lower. Left, curl it in, extend, and lower, last one, lift, extend, and lower. Use those feet to bring that ball a little closer to you. Let's get a grip of it. We're gonna start with it straight up in the air, then let's lift our legs straight up into the air and grip that ball. So you wanna grip it with the sides of your feet and maybe a, a little bit on the insides of your legs as well. Hands down, we're gonna bend our knees, bringing the ball towards the bottom here, and then lift it back up. So this time we're using our quads, the top of our thighs, our opposing muscle to those hamstrings. Down and lift. Core is still engaged here, working everything at once. Bend our knees and straighten, squeeze the top of the thighs. Down and lift. I know a lot of my seniors don't like to do squats. Here's a great alternative. Lower and lift. Keep those legs up in the air and then squeeze the ball right here. Squeeze and squeeze. Little tiny squeezes with those inner thighs. Squeeze. Give me four, three, two. Here comes our combination. We lower, lift, squeeze, release. 
lower left squeeze release lower and left squeeze are you guys breathing inhale exhale squeeze release down and left squeeze two more down lift squeeze and down lift and squeeze that was challenging nice job grab that ball we're going to change the position here in between our knees so kind of like at a 90 degree angle here with those knees and then we're going to squeeze that ball as much as we can arms out to the side palms down we're going to take the knees over to the side this is working our core especially our obliques up to the center and down to the other side and lift keep that belly button pulled into the spine lower back pressed into the floor really great for our obliques we go side and center side and center a few more side center side last two guys stay with me side and center relax come on up to a our first kneeling position here let's start on our right side extending your right leg out to the side we're gonna hug that ball nice and close and then we're gonna lean all the way over here so we are in a nice straight line from our toe to our hip to our shoulders option here to have your hand on the floor for more support if it'll reach or you can just hug the ball in nice and close like this so this should be nice and comfy you're putting your weight into the ball here just a little bit of weight on that front knee side leg lift here we go we lift and lower love the stability ball it makes us work everything at once lift and lower great for balance and all kinds of core toning four more here for three two and one lift that right arm let's do a nice side bend all the way over and then we're going to lift it up to the side again using the sides of our waistline big stretch over and lift up you can use this arm if you like or again maybe it's down here and left you do you and left please adjust the ball anytime you need to and if you drop it or it rolls away from you that's okay too and left last one side and left here comes our combination big side stretch we lift that leg and the arm big side stretch and left you should really be feeling this on the side of your waistline maybe even both and the outside of the hip on that right side and left three more two last one time for a little break let's turn over towards our ball here pushing the ball away from you let's sit the hips back down on our heels for a well-deserved yoga child's pose extend the arms out in front of you pushing the ball away dropping your shoulders down towards the floor bring the ball back towards you sitting up and give me a little glute squeeze let's do that again push it away from you hips come back come back up glute squeeze almost like a little pelvic tuck here bring it back exhale on the way up last one take it back and come on up we have a nice modified plank here so I want you to put your forearms on the sides of the ball. Activate those abs. We're gonna lean forward to we're in a plank position, position. So a nice straight line. Tummy comes in, hold three, two, one. 
relax and roll it up. We're gonna do that again. Roll forward, drop those hips. Hold three, two, one, and roll it up. Two more times. Tummy in, roll forward. Hold three, two, really suck that belly button in. Last one, roll forward. Hold three, two, and one, bring it in. Nice job, let's do the same thing on the other side. Extending our left leg out to the side. Tuck that ball in nice and close. And here we go, we're gonna lean all the way over, fingertips on the floor or hugging that ball. Starting with the leg lifts and we're in one nice straight line. We lift and lower. Also keeping our chest lifted, so don't like drop down here into the ball. Think about that shoulder down and back. Pretty posture, even as we're doing this. Four more. For two. Here comes those stretches. Lift that arm up. We stretch all the way over. And again, maybe push yourself up. Big stretch. And lift. Inhale. Exhale as we lift. For four. Lift. Three. Last two. And lift. Combination. Side stretch. Lift that leg. Side stretch. And lift. Nice job. I know that second side always seems harder. How about four more? Three. Two. Last one. Nice job. Let's roll back towards that ball again, coming onto our hands and knees. Sitting back in the child's pose, and we're going to do a combination this time with the child pose and plank four times. Drop the chest. Sit up, pulling coming back to your knees, forearms on the ball, tummy in, roll forward to that plank, hold three, two, and one. Roll back, push the ball away, child's pose. Drop the chest. Sit up, squeezing the glutes, bringing the ball towards you. Forearms on, belly button pulled in, so important right here. Don't drop the hips. Hold three, two, and one, two more. Sit back. And up. Forearms. Lean forward. You can hold on like this if that's easier too. Hold three, two, and one. Last one, guys. Make it your best. Roll that ball out. Hips come back. Drop the chest. And let's sit up again. Leaning forward. Tuck those hips. Pull that belly button in. Hold three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, coming back to a seated position. Start, if you have a mat, all the way on the end. We're going to go ahead and roll forwards. We need a bit of room here. So, holding onto the ball, if that helps, on the sides. We're going to slowly walk our way forward here. Nice and slow so you feel secure. And we're going to go all the way forward so just that our head and neck and tops of our shoulders are supported on that ball. So this should be nice and comfortable. Feet are flat on the floor, hip width apart. Lock the heels in just a bit. Hands on our hips, we're gonna bend our knees, squatting down, and then lift over, coming to that position. Again, bend down, bending the knees. Hips come towards the heels, and lift up. A little glute raise right here as well. So this is like a modified squat. Again, really good for our thighs, our glutes, and our knees. Getting those joints nice and lubricated. 
in a supported way. We go down and press it up two more. Bend those knees. Press it up and bend and press. Stay here. Lift the arms towards the ceiling, palms facing each other. Little hip bridge here. I want you to lift the hips and then lower. Lift the hips. Squeeze those glutes. Lower down. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. We've got three more. Then we do our combination. Two. Last one. Keep the arms lifted. Let's go ahead and bend again. Bring it up. Lift the hips. Lower halfway down. We bend and lift. Lift the hips halfway down. Should be getting nice and warm now. We bend and lift. Lift the hips and lower. You can drop the arms if you need to anytime. Lift and lower. Bend. Lift. Last one. Big bend. Straighten out. Lift and lower. Let's take those arms behind the head. While we're here, we're going to squeeze in a few more crunches. But I want you to walk those legs back just a bit so your head and neck, top of your shoulders, come off the ball. Engage that core. Belly button comes in. Little crunch, little lower. Lift and lower. Keeping our spine pretty neutral here, so don't drop the head all the way back on the ball. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead and roll it all the way up to a seated position. I'm going to roll back towards you. One more thing for our core before we move on. Sitting up nice and tall, hands on our hips. I want you to tuck those hips forward, doing a little crunch here, and then roll them back. So we're really working on these lower abdominals here. Crunch, roll it back. It doesn't look like much, but I really want you to activate and focus. So we're rolling the hips forward. It helps if you, again, squeeze your buns together and release. Forward and release. How about four more? Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Okay, new position on the ball. We're gonna start in a kneeling position, bringing that ball towards our belly button. We get to roll over the ball, and I want you to leave your feet on the floor. So the toes are about hip width apart right or in line with your shoulders find that balance you're on top of your belly button if you think of that that's the center being directly in the, of the center of the ball hands come behind the head and we have the opposite of a crunch here we're going to lift our chest and shoulders lower halfway down again squeeze those abdominals at the same time working the opposing muscle on that upper back so now that you know what you're doing don't look up at the screen. I want you to keep your neck in line with your spine. Lift and lower. Give me five, four, three. So important to work those back muscles. Last one, lift and lower. All right, guys, we're getting towards the end. Here comes the fun part. I'm gonna scooch back just a bit and we get to roll forward onto that ball. So hands or wrists are underneath our shoulders and this time our legs are up in the air. This time our belly button is off the ball. So find a spot where you feel supported and as always engage that core. Staying in this position, we're gonna bend our elbows coming into a push up, and then press it back up. Here we go, we go down, push it up. Elbows are out to the sides. further forward you are off that ball, 
the harder it's going to be. So adjust if you need to. You know, row forward. This is going to make it more difficult because you're putting more weight on your chest. Or you can roll back. So much easier than doing it on the floor, right? Two more. Last one. Hold this position. This is my favorite move, guys. Here we go. Leg lifts at the same time. We lift the legs, squeezing the glutes lower halfway down. We lift and lower. Kind of like a Superman. So good for our glutes. The stronger our glutes are, you know, they're the biggest muscle group in the body. Takes all the pressure off the lower back. And this is just a fun way to literally get off them and work them. Two more. Now hold them up and tap your feet together. In and out. In and out. Squeeze them nice and hard. Keep the legs lifted. We've got three, two, and one. Bend those knees, let's take a little break, and let's just let yourself round over the ball. Hang out here for a second. Take a deep breath, because we're gonna do all that again. One more time, and it's our last move before we stretch. You got this, let's go, it's, it's the funnest one. Here we go, propel yourself forward. Coming onto those hands again, tummies in. Here we go with those push-ups. Down and left, we've got eight. Inhale, exhale. Final four, push, three, two, and one. We stay lifted, combination with the legs this time. We lift the legs, feet together, open up and lower. Lift, squeeze, open and lower. Again, just lower halfway down. We lift, squeeze and lower. It's not that hard, but it looks impressive, doesn't it? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. It's a lot of fun. We lift, squeeze, open and lower. Lift, squeeze, open, lower down, and let's go ahead and roll it back nice and slow here. Round that spine. Give that ball a hug. Let the lower back relax. Oh, job well done. Slowly sit up, push yourself up with that ball. Let's roll it all the way down again. Do one more child's pose. Heels coming. Hips coming to the heels. Big inhale, exhale, drop the chest, and pull a little closer to the floor. Let's come back up. Let's go ahead and sit on our ball again to finish up with some well-deserved stretches. Go ahead and lift that left arm straight up into the sky and then a nice side bend all the way over. Other arm straight up into the air. Then a nice side bend using your other hand here to support you. Lower down. Again, lift that other arm up. Then I want you to cross it the nice twist around here. So your right arm coming back behind the ball. And twist. Good. Other side, we lift it up, twist it behind us. And this one comes up and over. Sit up nice and tall, big inhale. And exhale. Good, coming back to center. Nice big hip circles here. So we just want you to roll those hips, drawing the circle with your tailbone. We're gonna go four times each direction. So we're tucking the pelvis and then sticking it back in to the back, going side to side. Big, big, big circles here, as big as you can make them. Other side, all the way around. Should feel really nice on that lower back. And let's come back to a nice tall seated position. Arms come out to the side. I want you to pull them forward as you round your back. 
Drop your chin to your chest. And then the opposite, sit up nice and tall, proud chest, and pull those arms back behind you. Again, round forward. And lift up, stretch the chest one more time. Open and stretch. Release the arms down. Go ahead and toe heel those feet out a little bit. Little side lunge for the inner thighs here. So straightening that right leg, bending the other. Let's come back to center. Nice wide stance, toes to the corners. Straighten that leg. Bend this one again for a nice inner thigh stretch. Come back to center. Let's toe heel back in just a bit. Feet still stay nice and wide. I'm going to finish with a nice cat cow. So chin comes up. Hands on top of the legs, drop the chest towards the floor. Then we're gonna tuck our chin, belly button in, and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do that again. Chin up, proud chest forward. Drop the chin, and roll it up. So good, one more time, chin up. And drop it forward. Tuck the chin, tummy in, and roll it up. Oh, that feels so good. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'm so humbled you've chosen to work it out with me. I adore your comments. I adore my viewers. Love it. I'd love to hear them. So please let me know. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to so get all the new workouts. And we'll see you next time.